in the previous video we learned about linear sequence now we will learn about quadratic sequence here you can see an example 1 3 7 13 21 continues and you are asked to find the next two terms of this sequence and you are also asked to write an expression for the nth term in terms of n so how to solve this let's check something 1 to 2 the difference is 2 3 to 7 the difference is 4 7 to 13 the difference is 6 13 to 21 the difference is 8 in the previous example where we discussed about linear sequence there we saw that the difference was fixed but in case of quadratic sequence the difference is not fixed rather it follows a pattern the difference of difference is what the difference of 2 and 4 is 2 the difference of 4 and 6 is 2 the difference of 6 and 8 is 2 when we see this type of sequence we will understand that this is a quadratic sequence then what will be the next difference 2 4 6 8 10 and what will be the next 12 so the term immediately after 21 will be 21 plus 10 31 and the term after that will be 31 plus 12 it will be 43 now come to the question of the expression of the nth term the expression for the nth term will be t n equals to a n square plus b n plus c here nth term is expressed by t n now for n equal to 1 t 1 equal to a into 1 square plus b into 1 plus c for n equal to 2 t 2 second term equal to a into 2 square plus b into 2 plus c for n equal to 3 t 3 equal to a into 3 square plus b into 3 plus c for n equal to 1 t 1 equal to a plus b plus c and the value of t 1 is the first term 1 for n equal to 2 the second term t 2 is 3 and this is 4a plus 2b plus c and for the third case n equal to 3 the value of t3 is 7 7 equal to 9a plus 3b plus c if we solve these three equations we will very easily find the value of a b and c solving three equations with three unknowns is a very time consuming task so we need to use some shortcut here the shortcut is the value of a will be half of this value a will be half of 2 that means 1 in this case in case of quadratic sequence therefore instead of a we will write 1 so our calculation will be much more easier so we see here that b plus c equal to 0 that means b equal to minus c here we get 3 minus 4 equal to 2b plus c that means it becomes minus 1 equal to 2 in place of b we can put minus c plus c as we saw here that b equal to minus c that means minus 1 equal to minus 2c plus c minus 1 equal to minus c that means c equals to 1 we got the value c equals to 1 therefore what about b we got the expression from equation 1 b equal to minus c that means b equal to minus 1 and what about a we got the a already a equals to 1 so the expression of the nth term is a n square that means 1 into n square plus b n b equal to minus 1 plus c c equal to 1 so the expression becomes n square minus n plus 1 